Hello. Yes, hello. Good evening. Is this Christina? Hi, I'm Esco speaking. My name is Cross. I'm with Lidl Caesars Customer Support uh, Corporate Office. Oh, hi. Hi, I understand you had some kind of complaint. Yeah, um, this was a few weeks ago. I'm not sure when it was, but um, I actually went through the drive through restaurant. Um, and as soon as I get there, like, I'm um, just trying to make my typical day, my run. And the lady, she was so rude and, and naughty and... She didn't want to give me my receipt, and um, oh, I just remember she was just... She was naughty. Yeah, she was just, like, um, kind of just, like, rude the way she was just looking at me, and then I'm like, uh, and then I'm like, can I have my receipt? And she's like, uh, I don't know, she made a few comments, and then um, I'm like, is there something wrong? Am I bothering you? I, um, I'm just here to, you know, basically pick up some pizza for my kids. I mean, I'm just asking for my receipt, and she's <laughs> like, <laughs> talking to me. <laughs> oh, hello? Yes? Yeah, and she's talking to me, like, really rude and stuff, <laughs> and uh, she was like, <laughs> hello? Me, 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 me. Yeah, you're saying she was being really rude to you? Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. What what did you expect? What did you need? What was so bad? About was the pizza good? Did you eat the f fucking pizza? <laughs> God damn! Hello. Hello. Hello, Carol. My name is Cross. Mm -hmm. I'm calling from Dickie's Barbecue Customer Support. Oh, good. I'm glad I picked up the phone. I almost didn't. Oh, here <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So what what happened? Yes. You had a complaint. Well, I went. I did. I went into Albertsons and bought three $40 gift cards to Dickies and gave them to some of my teachers, okay? <sighs> and one of them, and I haven't heard back from the other two, but Fart. Well, I bought that day, I bought, huh? Fart. I bought two, three, three $40 gift cards, okay? I haven't heard back from the other two, and I'm hoping they're okay. But one of my gals brought me back the little part that's on the bottom, because I always put the part that says approved. Fart. You know, yeah, and yeah, and for the forty dollars, and so they fart. Did you Dickies. fart on it before you enter? <laughs> no, <laughs> but um, they went into Dickies, and when they swiped the card, they said it's invalid. Oh so shit! So they gave it, they they gave it back to me. Fucking shit! So, right? God damn it! Fucking <laughs> shit! We did it again. Fuck, it just pisses me off so bad. You know? This fucking well, place. Well, you know what? Your, your, image, your language is really upsetting. God damn it! Damn it! Fucking shit! Shit! Damn it! Where are your language? Another one that I ended too soon. I could have done better with that. Hello. Damn it. I'm sorry. Oh. I just get so frustrated. I know, but please use better language, okay? I'm breaking my the windows in my cubicle. Okay. All right. So, uh, she tried to use the car and the stupid thing didn't work. Right. That's very good. Thank you. Yeah, and so I went back to I went back to Albertsons, and they said, well, call the number on the back of the card, and which I went home and did. I called the number, and they said there's $40. Shit. I'm getting a lot of noise. Yeah, I'm breaking glass. Mm -hmm. I'm breaking all the glass. I'll stop. All right, there. All right, so you okay. went back to Albertsons, okay. you said? Yeah, well, yeah, and they said there wasn't anything they could do. Well, there's they said not. It, they there's said not. Call. Just so you well, know, there's, there's not. But then I called on the back of the card. There's a number. I called that number, and the number said, yes, there's $40. When the, I punch in the card number, it says, yes, there's $40 on that card. So then I went, I called 
um, I went back to uh, Albertson and says, can't you do anything? Because they say there's 40, and they go, nope, they can't do nothing. So that's when I got on the uh, Dickies line and said, I have a complaint. I don't know what to do with this $40 card that when I punch the number in, it says there's $40 on it, but the Dickies in our town won't take it. So now I'm out $40, and I've been charged on my credit card $40, but they can't use this $40 card. Okay. So that's why I reached out to corporate to say, what can I do with blah, this $40 blah, card? Blah. So I've done my due diligence and gone to everybody, gone to, to um, Albertsons three times because I've got my receipt. It's it not their problem, I said. Oh. oh, can I talk to someone else, please? Why? Because you're yelling at me, and it's not my problem, it's yours. It's not my problem, <laughs> and it's not my problem oh. that, that you've got a problem, you understand? Okay, I will call back at another time. Thank you. All right, asshole. <laughs> Motherfucker. Hey, fucking asshole. Hello? My name is me. I'm calling from Home Depot. You have an issue? Yes, uh-huh. All right, what seems to be the problem there, Miss Roberts? Uh, I'm going up the hallway. My wall's messed up. I put a, there's a big gash in my upstairs to try to put the refrigerator, broke the glass dish. I got some stuff marks on my brand new hardwood step floors. Okay, well, the delivery, the installer said that you were very rude and nasty. Yeah, nothing was said to him. You tell that Mexican to kiss my handcuffs. Nothing was said to him. None of them. Neither one of them. They know what they've done, and I want to fix. Well, he Nothing was said to them. They left all the cake in the refrigerator. Were, he said he was, he was angry that you were racist and that you had a Confederate flag and you were showing it to him? I'm black. Well. I don't have no Confederate flag. He said Say you were again. saying build the wall. You were saying build the wall about you. You said you left. <laughs> you said you left black marks on my wall. Build the wall. You said build a fucking wall. This you. I think this is. I think you the one that brought the refrigerator in. No, I sound just like you. No, he's yes, here. It is. You, you, yes, it is. You gonna kiss my black ass because I ain't oh, said shit. Fucking drunk, pervert, motherfucker. Shit. Black people can have the verbal flag. Haven't you heard of blacks for Hello? Yeah, hey, don't hang Sorry, up on me. I can't answer your call right now. We'll call you oh, back as soon as possible. Shit. Leave your name and number. I'm so Thank funny. you. I'm, Bye-bye and have a blessed day. I'm Milkman. Day. I'm Milkman. Have a blessed day and you talk like that. Hi, yeah. Yeah, pick up the fucking phone. Yeah, you say, you say in your message, have a blessed day, but when I talk to you, you're the fucking devil. What you say? I said on your voice message, you, you said... You, you, said you didn't have a refrigerator. You messed up my house. You're a black you devil. Want... You're a black devil. What you say? You're a black devil and your house smells like marijuana. I marijuana. Could, yeah, there was there was marijuana smoking going inside What's your name? house. You from, okay, you from the uh, you from Home Depot. What's your name? Yeah, that's right. Stupid, angry. What is your name? My name is Kulo. Uh, well, Kulo, whoever. Where did you say a uh, Confederate flag at? Uh, I saw. Uh, where you? No, ain't no. Uh, where did you see it at? On the bed. You were you were on you you were laying on top of it masturbating. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, he called my phone. So was you looking at me when I was doing that, or was your mother and father looking? No, you're no. Huh? Don't, don't talk. Don't bring up my mother and father. All right. Well, why did you say that? You came into my home and messed my house up, and you called me with your nasty mouth. Calling 
calling me all kinds of names, talking about I'm masturbating. I got a Confederate flag up, said my house smell like marijuana. So if they, you from Home Depot, what you doing talking to you a customer You have a dirty, like dirty, nasty house, too. <laughs> I don't know yeah, how people um, can live you know, like that, like animals, animals, you know? Oh, I don't know. That's okay. Well, since you're from Home Depot, you're in some big trouble, sweetie. I ain't in, sh I ain't in shit, motherfucker. You ain't Are shit. You, from Home Depot? you ain't shit. Won't you come on up here? We're going to beat you ain't gonna do shit, ain't shit, motherfucker. You ain't gonna do shit. Hey, hey, hey. I will pay, up, I will pay everyone's ass over there. Shut up, you bitch ass nigga. Shut up. You ain't gonna keep talking. You ain't gonna keep talking to her in the kind of way. Oh, puta, puta, bitch ass, puta, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll whip your ass, boy. You ain't. You won't do shit. I'll whip your ass. You won't I'll do shit. I'll drag your ass back to the border, you bitch. You see how you are? No, I see how you is. If I was anywhere around you, I'll whip your ass. Because you pissing me off talking to her that way. You don't talk to her that way. And if you're looking for Home Depot, don't call her no fucking mouth. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. I know where I know where you people live. And we got you on tape too. We hey, got you on tape. Why are you so upset about black marks on your wall? You people are black. <laughs> if you touch, if you you touch the wall and you leave black marks on it, right? What's the difference? Oh, 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 oh. You ain't doing shit, motherfucker. Oh, no, don't be scared. No, come on, come on. Come on, please. No, please. Please don't, man. Come on, man. Which company is this? Uh, Home Depot. Okay. <clears throat> so. Hello? Hello, this is Roy Gerbil, the supervisor here at the call center for Home Depot. I'm looking to speak to the person that was on the phone earlier. Hello? And who was, and who was that? You know her name? Um, well, we were monitoring one of our one of our people here at the call center, and he he suddenly jumped up out of his it's call. It's Valerie Roberts. She's nasty. Oh yes, Valerie. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, and what's your name again? Roy Gerbel. G E R B I L. Okay. Okay. Okay, what do you mean by that? Why are you calling? Well, if there was, was an escalation, obviously. My call taker was over here screaming, and I was trying to figure out what he was screaming about. Well, you know what? Um, I'm going to tell you like this. Tomorrow, um, I'm going to Home Depot, and I'm going to let them listen to the um, recording that I recorded. Recorded Which and, recording? Uh, what, what happened? Somebody Hold on for a second. Listen, listen. Uh, okay, no, exactly no, 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 what, what happened. Yeah, uh, what happened exactly? Why don't you come to Fergusburg and I'll tell you what happened. No, actually, huh? I'm going to tell you what happened. Your person okay. um, insulted uh, Miss Roberts on the phone. He said that she was rude to him. She, he mm -hmm. said that she was laying on her bed, masturbating with, uh, with a rubber flag. So tomorrow she's going well, home well, and talk to somebody there. She was she's laying crazy. on her bed, she's masturbating crazy. with a... Yeah, that's what he said. With a rubber flag? She's lying. With she's a crazy. rubber flag laying across the bed. <laughs> this lady's a liar. She's crazy. Listen to her. Who I don't know. You know what? You know what? We have I, I don't know who I'm going to believe. Like me recording you now. You have a good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Who? Uh, who? Who? Then that's that. What? I should not have interjected.
But I call tomorrow it. at Home Depot. Oh boy! Wait a minute. This is more than three. Two roller comics. Hi. Yes, I'd like to come in. Do you have? Do you do Magic the Gathering? Yeah, we have Magic the Gathering. All right, I want to play. I have. Le- do you have level five power sword? No. Where can I get level five power sword? That's not a card, if I'm not mistaken. Level well, five power sword. I just need a level five power sword. Okay, I don't know where to do that. You, I mean, you can check on the internet. Well, no, you. I want to buy it because if I get on the internet, I have to wait and wait. You know. Oh yeah, we don't have one. Sorry, buddy. It's, oh. not, it's not a magic card. Oh, uh, but I mean, can can we do something? Can we make it? No, that's wizards. Uh, job. We'll make a level five power sword, and and it'll be uh, a five five creature with trample. Sweet, yeah, that sounds cool. All right, and then I'll punch you in the face. Sweet, that seems cool. And then I'll pull your pants down. No, every time I near, every time I fuck your wife. All right, falafel stop here. You said the guy is real angry. Oh yeah, so let me here. I'll tell you this story. I was there for work. Uh, it was a one day trip, and uh, there was like a Russian girl behind the counter, and it's uh, it's kosher. So one side has the falafel, you know, the the vegetarian. The other side has the meat. Yeah. And anyways, so the every every station that I went to, like you pay for one, then you get your food at another, and then you get like your side dish or whatever at another. He was there, like next to me, like telling the employees what to do. Then while I was there eating. Somebody screwed up the order, and he got a phone call, and he was screaming at whoever was on the phone. Wow. Then he was screaming at the <clears throat> employees. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm I'm a little excited. Okay. He's a bald guy with glasses. Fucking, he's a nerd. Thank you for calling to Office Stop. This is Michelle. How can I help you? Yeah, I want to talk to the bald guy with the glasses. Okay, well, he's not in the building. I can give you his number if you'd like. Oh, I would love that, yes. Sure, it's numbers. Are you ready? Uh huh. It's eight five four zero eight eight five eight one, and his name is Jonathan. His name is Jonathan, and he's an asshole, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Lovable. He's an asshole. Well, he was yelling at me. He he was cursing at me. He said, "Call me mf or like that." He said, "Motherfucker, are you to me?" Really. And why does he do that? I don't know. What was the other soda soda? I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, but that's what, what was your name? What was your, what was your name? My name is Michelle. Michelle. Okay. Okay. All, thank all right. you. All right, honey, baby. Have a good day. Bye, honey, labia. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm so fucking excited right now. We got a cell phone, and I just changed my call RD to be the restaurant, so he should pick up. Oh, very good, very good. Up. Um, uh, he's Israeli, so I don't know if you know me. Uh, uh, hello. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Hey. Yes. Hey, motherfucker. Yes. How are you? Good. Who is it? I picked up the phone and I called you. Uh, Michelle told me to give you a call. What? Michelle said to call you. Who is this? My name is Meat. What? Who are you? Why are you swearing right now? Because motherfucker, Michelle said to give you a fucking call. Ask because you're an asshole. She said. What? I'm at the restaurant. Okay. I'm at the restaurant. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. What? The restaurant's are a piece. Yeah, I'm cussing. Okay, then, then, fucking you. Yeah, so okay. Fucking me? Okay, I'm coming over right now. All right, motherfucker. Well, listen, Michelle said oh, you're dude. an ass. <laughs> 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 Hello? Yes. Hey, motherfucker, come on, man. I'm going to call the police on you right now. Why is the food so bad here? Where are you? I don't see you. Michelle taking off her pants and her panties for me in the bathroom. 
You know, I know what you're doing. You you're dialing like a pussy from uh, somebody else's phone, pretending it's from shut my up, face. Shut up! Shut if up! Shut up! man, if you're a man, shut come up. in right now. Shut up! If you. you're a man, come, come to the bathroom. I'll suck your dick. Jerk, man. I'll suck your dick. And you know dick. something? What? Yeah, you, you. I'm sure you will because you're a fucking fat, man. Eating? Yeah, yeah. Come, I want to see you. I'm here outside. I'll well, fucking break every bone in your body, you motherfucker. You won't do shit, motherfucker. Come, you, your philosophy come, is a piece come of right shit. Come right now. You're a piece of shit yourself, I can't, you motherfucker. I'm, I'm in the bathroom. If you're a man, if you were a man, you would be here facing me right now. But no, I'm in the toilet shit. because your, coward, your food gave me diarrhea. It's so bad. Hey, diarrhea, it's okay. It's lubricated for somebody to fuck you up the house. Yeah, you want to because you're homosexual. Okay. Listen to me. Uh -huh. Don't call me anymore. And and if you want to talk to me, come right now. Shut up. For I'm from Haifa. I'm life. from Haifa. Yeah, you're a fucking Arab. That's what you are. Yeah, hey, hey, will you watch <laughs> it, motherfucker? <laughs> I'm so fucking happy. You oh fucking Arab was with you. Alright, here it is. The enough. Planet Fitness. Been Paul Pappas and Lake Athens. Sometime may I help you? Uh, yeah, how's it going? Who am I speaking with? Uh, Hunter. Huh? Hello? Yes. Uh, is, this, is this Jim? Can what you hear me, son? Oh, is there, uh, something's wrong with your connection? Oh, something's wrong with my connection? Maybe it's your fucking connection, asshole. Uh. Hey, what was that? Can you hear me? Yeah, and I can hear you. Okay, great. Just making sure. All right. So after you took the cotton out of your fucking ears, now can we talk about the gym? Yeah. Okay, good. So look, uh, is this the the? Do you guys have personal trainers over there? Yes. Okay. What what's the rate? So with our membership, uh, with any membership, you are uh, free, we offer free fitness training. Free fitness training. You mean like a like a personal trainer, a free personal trainer? Yeah. So we offer a design your own program where you'll sit down with our certified trainer. You guys will go over your fitness experience and fitness goals and any medical issues that could from using the equipment or anything like that. I got a real bad case of uh, you know I'm having trouble getting getting hard. You know lately I'm getting older. Is that is, do you think this will help out? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, you're not a doctor. I understand. It's fine. So, look, here's the situation is that I was with, uh, do the, do, do the personal trainers ever, um, you know, get together with the, uh, the people after hours or, you know, is there some other like side training or anything like that that goes on over there? Um, I believe once our trainer clocks out, like, you know, there's. Like, no, like, she clocks out. Okay. It's, it's up to her. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, I mean, the situation is, is I got kind of screwed over at the uh, at another gym. I won't name him, but it's it's a big one, you know, and I, I got signed up with this woman who was the trainer, and, you know, I used to be about, <clears throat> excuse me, about 350 pounds, and, uh, you know, I was going there for about 11 months, and I was going there mm -hmm. every day, and, and the way that she would motivate me you know, she'd say, if you get to 250 pounds, I'll suck your dick. And I'd be there, I'd be I'd be doing squats, and she'd be whispering in my ear, telling me all kinds of things like this, and making sexual innuendo in my ear, and telling me that she was going to have sex with me. And then, uh, I, so I, you know, she told me she needed a little bit of extra money, so I helped her, I financed her a car, and, um, you know, I was, I was giving her money because her kid was sick. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I maybe got taken advantage of a little bit. Uh, I lost a lot of weight, but um, I, don't, I don't know if you've ever heard anything like that before. No, you don't expect anything like that from her at all. No, that's not going on there? Huh? What was that? That's, that's not going on over there? Yeah, there's nothing like that going on over here. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you, it works. I mean, I think that they, uh, but, you know, the only part is, is I think I fucked up by giving her money. You know, I mean, I, I, no, that's, I, I, that's I, not I, with our I, policy. At least, 
I I leased her a new BMW, you know, and I paid her rent for a couple months, you know. Um, it's uh, it kind of kind of put me in the poorhouse a little bit, you know. I can't. I'm just a regular guy. I can't really afford that kind of thing, you know. But I, I mean, the you know, she would whisper in my ear and tell me what she was gonna do with me when I hit a certain weight, and then I'd get to that certain weight, and she'd say, No, no, that's not what I said. And then you know, what do you, what do you think? Think I got? Think I got? Think she was using me? Uh, it sounds like it. Yeah, that's a bummer, huh? Okay. Well, uh, what was your name there, bud? Hunter. What's your name? Huh? What's your fucking name? I just told you it. I, I didn't hear it. Oh, no. Okay, well, so, anyways. He's gone. Hello? He's gone. He has disconnected the call. Oh. <clears throat> Shit. Really didn't phase him. No, he sounded kind of awkward. Like, oh boy. Yeah, you go cut taking the word. I found it's the car. Enterprise roadside assistance. Hello. Hey, sweetie. Hello, this is Enterprise roadside assistance. Are you in a safe location? Well, I, I'm driving right now. Okay. But do you feel physically safe? How can I help you? Uh, I don't think it's very safe because I I don't have my hands really on the wheel because I'm writing, trying to write the information down. Okay. Do you need us to call 911 or do you, do you want to call 911 and then call us back? Why would I need to call 911? Well, I'm trying to ascertain if you're safe or not, sir, and we have been able to... Well, do that. I don't think... It's, it's not very safe to drive, you know, when you're not paying attention and stuff, you know? Okay. So, should you call us back when you're in a safe location, sir? Uh... I guess I could do that. Whoa, whoa hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Hello? 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 Alright, he's not gonna say anything. I don't know if he believed it or not. What an asshole. That's fucked up. Good yeah, evening, thank you for calling the Holiday Express LAX. I'm helping another guest. Please help. By suggesting local eaters yeah, hello? Check with our friendly and knowledgeable... You put your ring on hold. fucking hold. That's fucked During up. Your stay. Thank you for waiting. How can I help? Yeah, listen, I'm a little upset. I'm trying to find your place. I just left LAX in my rental car, and I can't find you anywhere. All right. I'm having a very difficult time hearing, but I'm, I'm, I'm making out that you are having a hard time finding her. Yeah, that's right. I'm in the car, in my rental <laughs> car. I Go just, I'm just left I'm going around LAX right now. Okay, where are you at now? Is that in the street that you're in? I'm passing the international terminal. Are you at the international terminal? Yes. Okay. But the LAX area is a U-shaped terminal, a U-shaped airport. Yeah, is I know. I'm LAX? driving around it right now. Hello? Okay, and then try to get in on Century Boulevard. All right, hang on. Exit to Century Boulevard. Hang on, let me try. I gotta, I gotta. Oh, it's coming up right here. Hang on. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Something okay there? Is it a oh man? Is it illegal to make left turns on on red here? Uh, are you at Century Boulevard? 
I it was red and I turned left. You told me to get on Century Boulevard and I did it and now I got into a car accident. No, I, I think you should get it. No, no, no. Now I got in a car accident. I'm going to hold you responsible now. Oh, so where are you right now? I'm on the side of the road and my car, is, I flipped five times. Oh, my goodness. I heard that. Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? Well, no. This is a rental car and I declined coverage. I need your your insurance information. My insurance information? Yeah, because you're responsible for the car accident. I'm going to uh, put a claim on your insurance. I'm responsible for the car accident? You said turn here. Sir, so you're the one driving your vehicle. I'm not driving the car. I call so for I instructions. You, you said turn here. Uh, you said Century Boulevard. Sir, you I said now, you. now, now, no, now, I, now, you said. I, did, I didn't say no, 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 sir. Yes, you did. But that wasn't me. No, I didn't. Listen, you might have killed someone in the other co in the other car. So if you need the car is on fire, the other car is on fire. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you are okay. I'm okay. I don't know about this guy. It's a family of five people inside this car. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you you messed up big time, buddy. Get me out of this no, car. I did not. You, you're in big trouble, mister. Who did this no, to us? I, if you're talking to me, I'm not. You better have car insurance or you're going to be in big trouble. I have I'm not. Car insurance. Are you talking oh. to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Daddy? Oh. I'm no, talking I'm to you at the hotel. Yes, you are. You said turn <laughs> now, 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 now. You said no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Like that. You uh, said Century Boulevard. No, no, no. You're right here, I right here. Help me. Why you say that when you don't know who, what cars are here? You're not even here with me. I, I wouldn't take on the wheel. wheel. Very irresponsible, well, you sir. Know what? Try to come here. Try to come to the hotel and speak with the manager. I can't okay? leave. You want me to leave the scene of an accident? Okay. When so you are ready, call. Give me directions. Okay. okay. I want your. There. I'm gonna need your your car insurance. <laughs> Sorry, he's got. No, no, Jesus no, man. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Honey, baby, no. No, 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 no. I just joined this shit, but I love that premise. Yeah. That's good. We've been doing it for a few weeks. The car accident <laughs> thing started on Dwight show. Yeah, they were reacting real good then. Now people don't give a fuck. I'm Next, thinking about we should it. impersonate police officers. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah, yes. felonies. Like and Brad Carter and shit. Maybe we should call NORAD. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's been done. For the first time. Thanks for calling us Victoria's Secret. This is Valerie, may I help you? Hey, sexy. Hi, who's uh, this? Hi, my name is Meat. Uh-huh. Uh, do you have the the tuna panties? Tuna panty we don't have here because we are international. It's uh we are inside the airport. Yeah, I know. It's a pair of panties that has a picture of tuna on it. Oh no, it's we a, don't have that. It's a can of tuna and it says "I smell tuna." Oh, I don't know. That's one we inside the international. You're inside the international. We don't have, yeah, international airport. Oh, okay. So people come in there looking for underwear. In the airport? Yeah, we don't have here. You don't have underwear? We have underwear, but not the one you want it right here. Uh huh. Because right here is a too small. The store is too small. It's too small. Yeah, it's small. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that you're pretty stupid, you know. Oh, sorry. You're a stupid. Dad, what? You're a stupid. Okay. okay. You ask about the stuff you ready? Uh, she ready. She ready. Okay. What is she Sorry. buying? What is she buying? Is she buying sexy underwear? Sorry, sir. This is uh, so busy, and uh, I'm so busy right now. And uh, the customer won't ask me questions, sir. Oh, Sorry. Hello. Well, hello. 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 Hi. This is this is um this is uh, uh hello. Yes. It's international, but uh, don't can I hear nothing? It's a dancing. Hello. Hello, stupid. 
Practice test. Yeah, can I have four? Can I order no, four? Hey, what did you say? Can I order it's so hot to four? I want you. to order four. Hello. I want to make an order for four. Hello. I want to make an order. Hear you. I want to make an order for four. You're a liar. She's being stupid. What? You're a stupid You're liar. Funny, you, huh? you fucking liar. Hello? I cannot hear you. It's so loud right here. Can you talk louder? It's not loud, you fucking you. Hello? Shut up. Hello? I cannot hear it. Okay. All right, honey. The crazy thing. That's uh -huh. it. Yeah, hi. Hello? You're, you're the only Victoria's Secret open right now. Everything else Hello? is closed. What? I don't hear you. We inter international. I'm going to order noodles. Huh? Can I have noodles? What? I'm going to order noodles. What? what? I don't hear you. Stupid. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Moaning like that inside of a Victoria's Secret is advisable. No. Oh, she crazy. Oh, oh.